Old School RuneScape is an MMO that's available on PC, iOS, and Android. Despite this remake being over 10 years old, it's still super popular. It offers a free-to-play option, and along with that, it has a membership option, which is $12 a month, and offers a ton of content. Today, I'm going to review the free option of this game. Let's figure out if it's worth playing the free option in 2024. So the first thing that I'll do is talk about the good things that this game has to offer. So first thing that I will say is the free version of RuneScape is still awesome. It offers hundreds and hundreds of hours of gameplay, and there's still so much to do. Along with that, it's a really good introduction to the game and will give you a really good idea if you want to get the membership, which offers hundreds and hundreds of hours more. Something that's really cool about Old School RuneScape is it has updates all the time that are based on player polls. So it constantly gets the community's feedback and then implements that feedback directly. I think that's pretty cool. By far, one of the biggest aspects of this game is grinding your skills. For me, it's actually my favorite part of this game. The free-to-play option offers 15 different skills, which will certainly give you a lot of game time. If you do decide to get the membership, you'll get access to 9 more skills, which ups it to 24. I said that my favorite aspect of this game is the skills, but for a lot of people, their favorite aspect of this game are the quests. Whether it's the humor that the quests have to offer, or the challenge, or the puzzles. RuneScape really does offer a really great variety of quests. My favorite one of all time is the Romeo and Juliet one. If you do upgrade to the membership, you get access to tons of quests, but once again, the free version has access to plenty of quests that will give you over hundreds of hours of game time. Something that makes Old School RuneScape extremely special is its economy. So it has the Grand Exchange, and in that you can buy and sell items from players. It's really cool because it offers a completely different way to make money, and when you are grinding your skills, it allows you to not only be grinding skills, but you can earn money from the things that you're grinding. It is a bit limited as a free-to-play user because you only have access to three spots of the Grand Exchange, where if you are a member, you get access to six spots, which means you could sell up to six things at once. One thing about Old School RuneScape that's really hard to even put into words is the charm that this game has this game really is something special and if you are someone that played this game in the early 2000s i can't suggest enough that you try to hop back on this because whether you think that you completely forgot about this game you don't remember anything about it by just booting this game back up you're going to access memories that you did not even realize were there when i was very young i loved this game and one of the biggest reasons i loved it was its accessibility so yes, it's free to play, and that is really special in itself, but along with that, this game has very minimal system requirements. Now, in 2024, you are actually able to play this game on all mobile devices, and it's not very demanding at all. I actually have a hot take. I believe that the game runs better on mobile devices than it does on the computer. I love the way that the touch controls work on it, and the zoom, and everything just feels really natural in my opinion. Speaking of accessibility, this game is just accessible in general. It's a very simple game that offers a lot of guides, but everything is very straightforward. The, the controls are extremely simple, mostly just involving pointing and clicking, and a lot of this game is actually just not doing much at all. For example, when you're fishing, if you have an empty inventory, you're going to press fish and just wait until your inventory is filled. So what's really cool about this game is it's a perfect game to like watch something to or listen to something or listen to music. I really enjoy games like that because I find it really relaxing and I believe that RuneScape is one of the most relaxing games of all time. So now I'm going to get into some things that maybe aren't perfect about old school RuneScape. The one thing I will say is that especially if you're someone that doesn't have nostalgia with this game, it is outdated. It's outdated in a lot of ways. The graphics do not look amazing, that's for sure. The gameplay is overly simple, and compared to modern games, it doesn't even compare. A lot of aspects of this game are extremely repetitive, and if you're someone that doesn't like that, this game is probably not for you at all. Along with that, despite the mechanics being quite simple in the beginning, as you progress later into this game, it actually gets quite complex and actually requires a good bit of effort to really get the mechanics down. Once again, that could be a great thing for players or that could be a deterring factor for some players. 
Another thing that's kind of frustrating about old school RuneScape is there's a lot of bots and it can be really annoying when you're a lower level and you're maybe grinding at the mines and a bot just takes over the rocks that you were using with much better gear and there's not much you can do about it at all. However, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So here's one thing that I started doing is when I find bots are near me and they're doing the same thing that I'm doing, I'll actually use them as my Uber. And what I mean by that is when my inventory is filled, I'll follow them and then they'll take me to the bank. I'll empty my stuff and I'll follow them back. So there you go. Some other relatively frustrating aspects of this game is the fact that there is a membership option and a lot of the game is behind a paywall. It's kind of pay to win in the sense that if you don't have a membership, you are at a massive disadvantage and you are literally going to progress the game a lot slower, which means you're going to be spending a lot of time within this game. And speaking of time, this game does demand a lot of your time. Even though a lot of it isn't active, once you hit the later levels, you're going to notice that it's going to take a lot to even level up a little bit. Now, I'm not hating on this game at all. I just kind of wanted to be non-biased and present both arguments. So now one thing I would like to do is just present a few counter arguments to some of the bad things about this game. So yes, it's grind heavy, like I mentioned, but that really is a core aspect of this game. And I think all of the fans of this franchise wouldn't want it any other way. So yes, it's a bad thing the same way that an open world game being open world is a bad thing. The grinding in this game gives players a lot of long-term goals to focus on, and it's very satisfying and fulfilling once those goals are achieved. And along with that, the journey towards it's really relaxing because you really can just chill out. If you're a learner, you could consume a lot of audiobooks while you're playing RuneScape. The next counter argument is about the outdated graphics. Yes, the outdated graphics do not look amazing in 2024, but really that's what makes this so nostalgic. The graphics paired with the music is essential and it gives that nostalgic feeling almost every single time you play this game and every single time you rediscover a familiar place. Along with that, this game kind of reminds me of Stardew Valley in the sense that yes, the graphics don't look great, but it makes up for it in the deep, deep, deep mechanics that this game has to offer. And the last counter argument is about how this game can be kind of intimidating once you get deeper into it. But once again, that's what makes this game what it is. And I also think that's what makes this game able to actually compete with modern MMOs like WoW Classic, Albion Online, and others. Along with that, you can find some really friendly people in this community to help you. And the amount of resources that are out there to the public to help with old school RuneScape is literally endless. In conclusion, if you are someone that played this game before in the early 2000s, I consider this an absolute must play, especially if you're someone who enjoys that nostalgic feeling. Furthermore, if you're someone that just enjoys MMOs as a whole and you consider yourself an enthusiast, I would also consider this a must play if you haven't played it before. Now, I will say, if you're someone that's an MMO enthusiast, the free version of this game might not be for you because I would say that it's more towards beginners. If you are an MMO enthusiast, I suggest getting a membership and giving that a shot because it really does offer very deep mechanics that I believe hang in there with modern MMOs. Do not play this game if you're looking for instant gratification. Despite its flaws, this game is truly something special, and I highly suggest that you give it a shot if you have any interest in it at all. Would you guys be interested in me getting a membership in this game and then maybe making a video on if the membership's worth it? Please drop a comment and let me know below, and also let me know just your opinion on my opinion. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Please just keep the vibes cool, and I love having conversations with you guys. One last quick thing, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm trying really hard to become a monetized creator for YouTube, and recently I have hit a huge milestone, and I've hit my first hours to watch goal, which I am so happy, so grateful, and so proud of. But one thing is that I need a bit more subscribers in order to progress to my next milestone. I just ask that if you're someone that finds yourself consistently coming back to my channel, please just consider hitting that subscribe button because it does help me more than you actually realize. I really do try to avoid talking about things like that. It's not something you're going to hear me bring up a lot. I just wanted to be transparent with you guys. Thank you all so much for the support so far. It really does mean the world to me. I really hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.